Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to take a deep dive into the fascinating world of computers and explore their incredible evolution throughout history. From ancient abacuses to the latest quantum computing technology, there's so much ground to cover. So, grab a cup of coffee and get ready for an extended exploration of the history of computers. Ancient Computing Let's start our journey thousands of years ago, when computing was in its earliest stages. The ancient world had its own versions of computing devices that set the foundation for what was to come. One of the most iconic examples is the abacus, which was used by various civilizations for arithmetic operations. This simple yet ingenious tool paved the way for the concept of manipulating numbers and performing calculations. Moving forward, we encounter the astrolabe. Used by astronomers to predict the position of stars and planets, the astrolabe was a crucial instrument in celestial navigation and making astronomical observations. It showcased the early advancements in computational thinking, as astronomers had to make complex calculations to determine positions and movements in the night sky. Mechanical Era Fast forward to the 17th century, and we enter the mechanical era of computing. Blaise Pascal's invention, the Pascaline, was a mechanical calculator capable of performing addition and subtraction. This groundbreaking device marked the transition from manual calculations to mechanical assistance. Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz took mechanical computing even further with his calculator, often known as the Leibniz calculator. Not only could this machine perform addition and subtraction, but it could also handle multiplication and division. Leibniz's calculator was a significant step forward, showcasing the potential of mechanical devices in performing complex computations. Pioneering the Computer Age In the 19th century, visions of more advanced computing machines started to emerge. The visionary Charles Babbage proposed the analytical engine, considered the first general-purpose mechanical computer design. Although never fully built during his lifetime, Babbage's analytical engine laid the groundwork for modern computers. It introduced concepts such as punched cards, memory, and the idea of a stored program. Making the analytical engine even more remarkable is the fact that Ada Lovelace, often regarded as the world's first computer programmer, wrote the first algorithm intended for this machine. Lovelace's visionary insights on the potential of Babbage's machine considering it beyond mere computations, elevated the role of computers in areas like art and music, making her an icon in the history of computing. Another significant development during this era was the punched card system, developed by Herman Hollerith for use in the U.S. Census. The punched cards allowed data to be input, stored, and processed, leading to the efficient processing of large amounts of information. This critical innovation would eventually lead to the formation of the company that would become IBM International Business Machines Corporation. The Birth of Modern Computing The mid-20th century marked a turning point in the history of computers. In 1936, British mathematician Alan Turing introduced the concept of a theoretical machine called the Turing machine. Although a purely hypothetical construct, the Turing machine laid the foundation for computer science and the idea of algorithms. Turing's work revolutionized computing by showcasing that any computation could be broken down into a series of simple instructions. A significant leap forward came with the construction of ENIA, e, the first general-purpose electronic digital computer. Built during World War II for the U.S. Army, ENIAC was an enormous machine that used vacuum tubes and performed calculations thousands of times faster than its mechanical predecessors. This groundbreaking computer expanded computing capabilities and opened up new possibilities for scientific research, calculations, and data processing. Following ENIAC, the UNIVSCI was developed and introduced in 1951 as the first computer to be produced in quantity and used commercially. The UNIVSCA had a profound impact on industries such as business, government, and scientific research, further solidifying the role of computers in society. The Rise of Personal Computers As we move closer to the present day, the 1970s and 1980 witnessed the rise of personal computers. 
It was during this time that two iconic machines emerged, forever changing the landscape of computing. One of these machines was the Apple II, designed and hand-built by Steve Wozniak. Released in 1976, the Apple II was one of the first personal computers available to the general public. With its simplicity and intuitive design, it laid the groundwork for Apple's future success and cemented the company's place in the history of computing. But, of course, we can't forget the IBM PC, which hit the market in 1981. The IBM PC and its open architecture introduced a standardized platform that appealed to various software developers and hardware manufacturers. This move towards compatibility and accessibility transformed the personal computer market and set the stage for the widespread adoption of computers across industries and households. The Software Revolution In the mid-1980s, a software revolution began to reshape the world of computing. Microsoft Windows, introduced in 1985, was a graphical operating system that revolutionized the user interface of personal computers. It made computing more accessible to everyday users and provided a visual experience that dramatically simplified interactions with the machine. Around the same time, a remarkable development was taking place that would change the Internet forever. In 1989, Tim Berners-Lee proposed the World Wide Web, a global system of interconnected documents and resources accessible via the Internet. This groundbreaking concept transformed the Internet from a primarily text-based platform into a user-friendly environment capable of hosting multimedia content and supporting interactive experiences. The World Wide Web brought the Internet closer to people and set the stage for the digital revolution that followed. The Mobile Revolution while personal computers dominated the computing landscape for many years, the mobile revolution was on the horizon. In 1992, IBM Simon entered the scene as the world's first touchscreen phone. Combining elements of personal digital assistance, PDAs, with mobile telephony, the IBM Simon showcased the potential of mobile computing. However, it was Apple's introduction of the iPhone in 2007 that truly revolutionized the smartphone market. With its sleek design, multi-touch interface, and intuitive user experience, the iPhone set new standards for smartphones, paving the way for the modern era of mobile computing. Since then, smartphones have become an integral part of our daily lives, keeping us connected, informed, and entertained on the go. The Rise of Cloud Computing and AI The 21st century brought us significant advancements in two key areas, cloud computing, and artificial intelligence. In 2006, Amazon Web Services, a AWS-made, scalable, and affordable cloud computing services available to the masses, through a double, U.S. individuals and organizations could access virtual servers, storage, and databases on demand, eliminating the need for physical infrastructure and providing unprecedented flexibility and scalability. In 2011, IBM's Watson made headlines by defeating human champions on the game show Jeopardy. This remarkable feat showcased the power of artificial intelligence in analyzing vast amounts of data, understanding natural language, and providing accurate responses. Watson's success marked a significant milestone in AI development and opened up possibilities in fields such as healthcare, finance, and research. Current trends. Now, as we look to the future, there are a couple of exciting trends worth mentioning. First, we have quantum computing. Quantum computers leverage the principles of quantum mechanics to perform computations that would be impossible for classical computers. With their ability to process vast amounts of data simultaneously, quantum computers offer the potential for solving complex problems in fields like cryptography, drug discovery, and optimization. Secondly, we have edge computing. In the era of the Internet of Things, IOT, edge computing aims to process data closer to the source of its generation. Instead of relying solely on centralized cloud-based systems, edge computing brings computational power and data processing capabilities to the edge of the network, reducing latency and improving efficiency. This trend becomes increasingly important as we see a proliferation of IOT devices producing massive amounts of data that require quick and localized processing. Well, we've covered a lot in this extended exploration of the history of computers.
from the ancient abacus to the exciting possibilities of quantum computing and edge computing. The journey has been captivating. Remember, this was just a broad overview, and there are countless more significant milestones and figures that have shaped the history of computers. We could spend hours diving into the intricacies of each era and invention. But for now, I hope this extended video has provided you with a deeper understanding of how computers have evolved and impacted our lives. If you found this content informative and educational, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more tech-related content. I appreciate your support. Thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you in the next video.